Okay, so we have to completely factor this expression over the integers. There are two possible strategies. I'm, I'm going to show you both. The second piece has no variable. And between the numbers, it's only two that they share. But at this point, we have two options. Either factor out the greatest common factor, which is two, or factor out negative two. And in this particular case, I would factor out negative two. And here is why. If we factor out negative two, then 90 divided by two is 49. And actually, the fourth is there. But this sign here is not plus, because negative 2 times plus 49 will give us back the negative 98. And here, we're going to have a negative 25, because minus 2 times minus 25 will give us that plus 50. Now that we factored out the negative greatest common factor, this is a little bit more familiar. The fact that this is a difference of two squares is more visible. So this is, this is always a healthy approach. Let us recall the difference of squares theorem. It states that if you have a difference of two squares, it can always be factored into a pair of conjugates. If this is new to you, here is what we can do. What was squared here? To get 49, we have to square 7. To get x to the fourth, we have to square x squared. So 7x squared squared is this 49x to the fourth. And this is 5 squared. So we have a square minus another square. This expression can be factored into a pair of conjugates where we add and subtract 7x squared and 5. So it's negative 2 times 7x squared plus 5 times 7x squared minus 5. This is one way. Another way to solve this is by swapping them because it should be clear that we have a difference of two squares. So now that we swap them, this is more familiar as a difference, as a subtraction. And now when we factor out 2, we're going to get 25, a square, minus 49x to the fourth, also a square. So then we get 2 times 5 squared minus 7x squared squared. Then if you play out this, this drama, a will be played by 5, and b will be played by 7x squared. So we get a plus b, which is 5 plus 7x squared and 5 minus 7x squared is a minus b. The two answers, although they appear different, they are not really different. Clearly, 7x squared plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 7x squared. And if we distribute the minus 1 into this factor, we get that factor. So the two answers look different, but they are the same correct answer. On the long run, my preference is in the first solution because negative leading coefficients are, here we have a negative leading coefficient, and those are often present a little bit of danger. So it's probably best to just get rid of them by factoring them out. Thank you for watching.